Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you really wanted me to revisit Ahmed Didat today with his video Proof that Jesus was not hanged on the cross and I will accept Islam tonight by the Dawa channel. I am extremely skeptical when it comes down to this claim because even historians are debating about the crucifixion of Jesus. I don't really think that Ahmed Didat can prove it in one little presentation here. But I am here to be proven wrong, of course. Let's see what his evidence is. With no further ado, let's have a look. Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition. But my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Because I believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify all what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we've, we, the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life. Yep. This is the proof. But if I can just have that, hallelujah, I will turn tonight to be a Muslim. I prove this to you. The brother said now if he can... He is absolutely correct. This is a fundamental pillar of Christianity. We believe that Jesus died for our sins and then rose from the dead. He was victorious over death. This epic tale is the fundament of Christianity and actually the biggest point of debate between Christians and Muslims. We made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place. He is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says, I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million suns can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But now, if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36 that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the Last Supper. Where the chicken comes to life. So after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. Yep. And he goes into this room and his disciples are there Ten of them, ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum, same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, Salam Aleichum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly your scripture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm asking, did it look like a spirit? Did it look like a ghost, a spook? They said no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit where didn't didn't look like one? Yeah, must have looked like one then. Okay. Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he they thought that he was a spirit. So I said, You see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawariun, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay, people talking, that he had given up the ghost, you know, that his spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay, people talking, that now he's dead and buried for three days. Mm -hmm. All the knowledge is from hearsay, people talking, because sure. Mark chapter 14, verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All. So I'm asking, does all mean all in your language, you Englishman? He said, yes. So they were not there. 
all the knowledge from what they heard. So on hearsay, not even if we look into the historicity of the Roman Empire at such a crucifixion, the disciples probably couldn't be allowed to attend. This definitely wasn't something for the average public. If you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see naturally are terrified because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he's not what they're thinking. They're thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadaya varijalaya. Says, behold, my hands and my feet. Inni ana hua. I'm the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? Inni, most certainly I, ana hua. Husuni wanzuru. Say, handle me and see. For a spirit yeah, has no flesh and bones. He shows his wounds, have. right? And they felt him. And they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed. And wondered, what happened, man? We thought the man was dead and buried. So he says, to assure them further, that this is not what they are thinking. He says, Aindakum ta'am. Have you got here anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broil fish and a honeycomb and he took it and he ate in the very side to prove what? <laughs> there is a ghost, he's a spook, he's a spirit. No, what is he proving? Flesh. I'm a same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet he said, look, he is. He said, he's not a spirit. You say, he is. Amazing. Amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I'm not. You say, he is. But there are other passages where the disciples do not really recognize him at first. So he doesn't look exactly like he used to. Ahmed Didat didn't mention this. Jesus says, I'm not God. I'm a servant of God. He said, no, he's God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yom Al-Qiyamah. They said, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self. He said, no, he can do everything. I said, what's wrong with you people? The no, man no, is agree. telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I'm the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He said, he's not a spirit. You say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian. I don't have told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay? A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, Spirit has no flesh and bones. So I find it problematic, man. Ahmed Didat is always quoting the Bible, but then at the same time, he's leaving out certain details. As I said, when Jesus comes back, he shows the disciples his wounds. Then there are other instances where they see Jesus, but they do not recognize him. So he's definitely not the same guy. He didn't go just into hiding for three days and then, whoopsie, came back again. Let me tell you that. Because you are thinking that he is. He said he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? If it's resurrected, sure. That yeah. when we wake up, Yom al everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he's not, and you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that it's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lies jiun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present $10,000. Oh.
All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. This must have been the third time or so that I reacted to Ahmed Didat, and I have to say yet again that I am not impressed. I really do not like his argumentation style because it is disingenuous. No disrespect here. The man is already dead, so may he rest in peace. But it is not fair, first and foremost, to claim that the Bible is corrupted anyways. Then, however, you take it as a source of evidence, and then yet again you leave out certain passages to prove your evidence. This is not a fair style of representing the truth. This is not a fair style of defending Islam either. I do not believe that this is in favor of anyone out there, Christians or Muslims. When we discuss, we have to discuss the truth. And this way of discussing, unfortunately, didn't bring us closer to the truth. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, nevertheless, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.